Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel. A while back, I made a video talking about new natural voices that were recently added to Narrator. Well, in that video, I made this remark. Now, just in case you were wondering if we can get these voices in the magnifier reader here, uh, no. <laughs> But hopefully that will be coming soon. I am definitely wanting that. More natural voices for the reading. Well, I'm excited to say that those natural voices are now available in the Windows Magnifier Reader. I'm going to demonstrate that update, show you how to get them, show you how they work, and we'll talk about another recent update to the Windows Magnifier that is also pretty cool. The new natural voices are currently only available on a beta build as part of the Insider program. This is a free program you can sign up through Windows to test out some of the beta features prior to being released to the general public. The current build number is 26220.7262. As I said, the Insider program is free. Anybody can sign up for it. But if you don't want to do that, we should see these new features being rolled out to the public within the next month or two. But before we check out the new voices, I want to show you this other new feature that was recently released. And this one is available for everyone using Windows Magnifier on Windows 11. And this is a new keyboard command to quickly zoom out of magnification and zoom back into where you were. This is incredibly helpful if you are a high magnification user like I am. You're probably constantly zooming out to get your context and zooming back in. It's a constant in and out, in and out. So having a way to quickly zoom in and out with one keyboard command is something that I've been requesting for quite a while now. Now, we do already have the Control-Alt spacebar. And that slowly zooms out and then slowly zooms in. We've had that one for years, but in my opinion, it's, it's kind of slow, it's kind of clunky. You can zoom out and then reposition your mouse pointer and then it zooms back in. But I've been wanting something fast. And we finally have that. I can just hit the keyboard command, Control, Alt, and minus, bam. Zooms out, bam, zooms back in. Even if I'm zoomed in really high here, Control Alt minus zooms out. I can readjust. It stays zoomed out until I click that button again. And then I can zoom back in super fast. And yes, this does work in both lens and docked. So here I am with the lens and I click it, zooms out, click it, zooms back in. And here we are docked, pretty high magnification. I click it, zooms out click it, zooms back in. So it does work in all three magnifier modes. But next, let's talk about the new natural voices in the magnifier reader. So I've got a text document here with a couple of poems. First, let's let our old buddy Microsoft David read this out to us. I ask a question. It replies, a mind of code behind bright eyes. It learns my ways. It learns my style and helps me think a little while. So that's one of the three voices we've had for years, but let's jump into the settings and I'll show you how to get the new natural voices. First, we wanna go into settings, then accessibility, then magnifier. Then we wanna scroll down to the reading section. And here we have where we can choose our voices. And these are the old, the old gang, the old guard that we've had for quite a while. Microsoft David, Microsoft Zira, and Microsoft Mark. But right below that, we have a new section here, and it says Add Natural Voices with an Add button here to the right. When we click on this, we get a new window that pops up with a list of natural voices. At the top of this window, you can choose what language you want. And the language options we have are Spanish, Chinese, Japanese, Portuguese, German, French, English, and Korean. And if you click on one of these, you'll hear a sample of the voice. Hello, my name is Nija. I am a high quality speech voice that you can use for your screen reading needs with your narrator, which is... Hello, my name is Prabha. I am a high quality speech voice that you can use for your screen reading. Hello, my name is Ryan. I am a high quality speech voice that you can use for your screen reading needs with your narrator. Hello, my name is Sonia. I am a high quality speech voice that you can use for your screen reading needs. Hello, my name is Arya. 
I am a high quality speech voice that you can use for your screen reading needs with narrator which is the screen. Hello, my name is Guy. I am a high quality speech voice that you can use for your screen reading needs with narrator. Hello, my name is Jenny. I am a high quality speech voice that you can use for your screen reading needs with narrator which is the screen reader app. We can click on one of these voices and then click the download and install button, the blue button down at the bottom. Well, it's blue for me. I'm going to go with Guy. Guy just sounds like a friendly guy. Uh, <laughs> Guy's a friendly guy. So I'm going to choose that. Hello, my and name I'm is click Guy. The I am a high and quality. Now we get a little dialogue window that pops up saying that the voice was being installed. And now when I go back to our voices, right above Microsoft David is now Microsoft Guy. You can also go through the magnifier panel here. Click the settings wheel all the way at the end, and you can choose voices and adjust the reading speed through here as well. So now we've chosen our new voice. I can come in here and click on this next poem. Ping, buzz, ding, my phone's alive, endless alerts I can't survive. But in the quiet, I can see there's more to life than what screens decree. And now we have the new, more natural sounding voice. So this is super cool, very excited about this. Remember, if you're not on the Insider build, then this should be rolling out to your computer in about a month or two. Huge thank you to my buddy, Matt Filipinko, for giving me the heads up about this update. Also, big thank you to my contact over at Microsoft Accessibility for giving me a little bit more information about it. Stay tuned for more videos coming out very soon regarding new updates to Windows Narrator. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know down below. You can also check out the website, theblindlife.net to stay up to date with all the blind life related things. Thanks again, guys. See you next time.